You gotta really flap them hard. Uh, uh, maybe not quite that hard. Looking good up there, Princess Twilight. Applejack, you know, you don't have to call me that. Why do you protest so? You've already given up wearing your crown all the time. The least you can do is embrace your new title. If other ponies want to address me that way, I suppose it's fine, but not my friends. It just doesn't feel right. <sighs> and neither does all this flying business. The Summer Sun celebration is only two days away, and I'm never going to be ready to perform my part. Not if you spend all your time down here, you won't. Now get up there and show every pony the big finish. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? You look amazing, darling. They've really captured your regality. I suppose. Oh, don't be so modest. It's every pony's dream to someday wear a crown and have their coronation ceremony preserved in stained glass for all to see. Uh, I don't know if it's every pony's dream. Most of my dreams are about frosting. <laughs> We'd better get going. We don't want to miss our train. Fluttershy's right. Don't know about y'all, but I've still got bushels to do to get ready. The official celebration may be here in Canterlot, but hoo-wee, as the mayor put us in charge of one heck of a party back home. Oh, don't look like that, Sugar Cube. You get to be right there with the other princesses when Celestia raises the sun. And I'm honored. Really, I am. It's just that the Summer Sun celebration is what first brought us all together. It just doesn't feel right not getting to spend such a special day with my Ponyville friends. It doesn't feel right to us either, darling. If the mayor wasn't so desperate for our assistance, we'd most certainly stay here in Canterlot. And of course, we do understand that your royal duties must come first. The summer sun celebration may have brought us together, but it's something much bigger that'll always keep us connected. Exhibit A. The six of us are united by the elements of harmony. No amount of royal duties is gonna change that. Right, every pony? Uh -huh. Right, Pinkie Pie? Creamy, creamy frosting. <laughs> you should take that as a yes. We're gonna write you and give you so many details it'll be like you're in Ponyville with us. Right, girls? Cross, Cross my heart and hope to fly. Sink a cupcake in my eye. And you will be with us right after the celebration. We already have an appointment on the books to discuss the royal upgrades to your loft decor. All aboard for Ponyville! <laughs> I can't help it, Spike. They've only been gone a minute, and I already feel like I'm missing something. For the princess. Dear Twilight, you aren't missing anything. Your friend, Pinkie Pie. But I am. I just know it. Chick, check, chick, check, chick, check, and check. Huh, what do you know? We're way ahead of schedule. I credit your extremely competent assistant. So do I.
the celebration isn't until the day after tomorrow. We could still fit in a quick trip to Ponyville and be back in plenty of time to finish off these last few things before the main event. <sighs> that would be nice, Spike. But what if something else came up while we were gone? What if we were delayed getting back and I wasn't able to finish everything on that list? What if we lost the list on the way to Ponyville and then couldn't remember which things we'd done and which things we hadn't done, and then spent so much time trying to figure out we hadn't done what we had done that we ruined the entire celebration by not doing the one really important thing that we were supposed to do? Uh, so that's a no, then? These are the first royal duties Princess Celestia has given me. I can't risk letting her down. And I'm sure you won't. Your Highness! No need for that now, Princess Twilight. Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. Sorry! I must admit that it is wonderful to actually be looking forward to the Summer Sun celebration. What do you mean? For my subjects, it has always been a celebration of my defeat of Nightmare Moon. But for me, it was just a terrible reminder that I'd had to banish my own sister. I guess I'd never really thought about it that way. But now it has become a wonderful reminder of our transformation back into Princess Luna and our happy reunion. I am so pleased that you will be playing a role in the festivities. I know it must have been difficult to see your friends return to Ponyville without you. Maybe a little. You may no longer be my student, Princess Twilight, but I hope you know that I will always be here if you need me. Just as I hope that you will always be there when I need you. I think this guy needs you? A uh, uh, message for Princess Twilight. A letter from Ponyville, I presume? Never mind. It's not important. Spike, where were we? About to call it a night? We should probably go over the checklist one more time. I knew you were going to say that. I'll leave you to it. Check, 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 check. Spike! <sighs> what time is it? It's the middle of the night. But it could be morning. That's just it. I can't tell. Whoa. That is weird. Come on, Spike. We have to find out what's going on. <gasps> what do you think it means? <laughs> Princess Twilight will know! <laughs> I'm sure it's just... Well, there's certainly a logical... Your Highness, you must come with us. It's Princess Luna and Princess Celestia. They're gone! <gasps> but I don't understand. Where are they? We don't know. It seems that Princess Celestia and Princess Luna have simply... Vanished. Vanished?! This is why we have come to you. We await your command. My command? We're officers of the Royal Guard. We take our orders from royalty. With Princess Luna and Princess Celestia gone, and Princess Cadence overseeing the Crystal Empire now, that means we take our orders from you. Princess Twilight, there's no time to waste. We need to know what you want us to do. I want you to continue the search for Princess Luna and Princess Celestia. We have to find them before ponies start to panic. There must be some clue that can tell us what's happened to them. If you find something, anything, let me know immediately. <sighs> Way to take charge, Twilight. Your Highness, news from Ponyville. The Everfree Forest appears to be, well, invading. <gasps> Pardon me. Are you all right? My goodness, what is it that has caused you all such distress? Whatever it is, I'm sure it's nothing you need to really worry about. Oh, no, you were right. You should be 
worried. They're very worried. <laughs> Into it. No. 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 Dang, Nabbit. We had never seen this kind of trouble with weeds before. Now that I think about it, I've never seen these kinds of weeds at all. Have y'all? No. Where the heck are these things coming from? And what incarnation is going on with the sky? Oh, no, you don't. This is Ponyville territory, and we are due for rain until after the summer sun celebration. You ever free clouds, you should just head on back to where you belong. Whoa! Gonna make me do this the hard way, huh? Hmm, something strange about the sky. It wasn't me. I swear. Ooh, sweetie Belle, if this is some sort of prank you and your little crusader friends are pulling, I find very little humor in it. Rarity, you have to help me. I think something's wrong with my horn. Free Forest is invading. Whatever is going on, I'm sure we're going to need our friends and the elements of harmony to stop it. I just hope we haven't missed the train. Uh, uh, Twilight, there is another way for us to get to Ponyville, remember? There is? Uh. You can fly! Oh, right. Whoa! An explanation. All I know is the sky's split in two, and these clouds moving in sure aren't from around here. Neither are all these crazy plants. They're coming from the Everbree Forest. And try as we might, us Earth ponies can't do anything to get rid of them. Don't suppose you know any magic that might stop them from spreading? Alas, this whole raging forest situation seems to have left my horn on the fritz. We have to figure out something. I don't know how much more of this pony will can take. I don't know how much more I can take. The forest is expanding, y'all. And judging by how fast it's moving, it doesn't seem content just taking over Ponyville. I reckon before long, it'll cover half of Equestria. Permission. Sweet ground. Sweet, sweet, wonderful ground. Okay, I get it. I need to work on my flying. I don't know if 
if you've noticed, but the Everfree Forest is just a teeny tiny bit out of control. <laughs> Guess it turned out you were missing something here in Ponyville after all. But perhaps you already know what's causing all of this calamity. Has Princess Celestia sent you to dispel it post haste? Not exactly. You see, Princess Celestia is... Well, she and Princess Luna are both... Come missing! <gasps> I don't know who has taken them, but I've got a hunch we're going to need the elements of harmony to get them back. Oh, yeah. Just like old times. A booyah! I told you we'd always be connected by the elements. <sighs> Now we just gotta figure out who to aim these bad boys at so we can get Celestia and Luna back and keep the rest of Equestria from becoming plant food. Any ideas? Hmm. I haven't found squat in any of the books I've been looking through. Oopsies! Missed a spot. Half day, half night. Strange weather patterns. Out of control plants. I think I'm starting to get a pretty good idea of who we're up against. Twilight, you know Princess Celestia said that you were to give me a heads up before you summoned me with that little spell she gave you. In case you haven't noticed, I was in the middle of a particularly invigorating shower. Enough! Release Princess Celestia and Princess Luna and stop the Everfree Forest from invading! Why, whatever are you talking about? Don't you play dumb with us, Discord. We know you're the one behind all of this. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love what you've done with the place. But I couldn't possibly take responsibility. I'm reformed, don't you remember? Yeah, right. This has got your cloven hoof prints all over it. I'll have you know that I have only one cloven hoof. Such accusations. And here I thought we were friends. Drop the act, Buster! We're on to you. Ladies, ladies, I'm innocent. Would I lie to you? Yes! Um, maybe? Well then, it seems we've reached an impasse. I'm telling the truth, but you think I'm lying. What do friends like us do in a situation like this, Princess Twilight? Congrats, by the way, on the promotion. You totally deserve it. I see we blast it back to stone. Works for me. Here, here. Hey, we can't do that. What if he really is telling the truth? Well, finally, some pony willing to give me the benefit of the doubt. The rest of you could learn a lot about friendship from my dear friend Shutterfly here. Um, it's Fluttershy. Oh, right, whatever. If you're not the one responsible, then help us figure out who is. I suppose I could, but after all the hoof pointing and besmirching of my good name, I just don't know if I'm up to it. Ugh. Why don't you ask your zebra friend if she knows anything? Zikora! From my home, I have had to flee. The forest has grown too wild, even for me. Any idea why all this is happening? I'm afraid it is a mystery to me as well. But I may have something that if combined with a spell, I do not dare to use it myself. The result would be tragic. It only responds to alicorn magic. Princess Twilight, you can turn the potion from purple to white. After a sip, you may see why the sky is day and night. Doesn't 
seem to be working. Where am I? Not another step. Princess Luna! I don't understand. Where are we? Why did you and Celestia disappear? Did you really expect me to sit idly by while they all basked in your precious light? Precious light? There can only be one princess in Equestria! And that princess will be...